The Treasury has fired back at the SNP's claims the UK has had the weakest economic recovery of any country in Northwest Europe since the 2008 financial crash. The SNP claimed independence for Scotland was essential because of the Tories' poor handling of the UK economy since coming to power in 2010. The party claimed accumulation of damaging decisions at Westminster since 2008 had harmed the economic recovery, including a decade of Tory and Labour austerity cuts and Brexit. SNP chiefs also warned the UK government was making the same mistakes again during the recovery from COVID-19 and leaving Scotland's COVID recovery vulnerable under Westminster control. An analysis from the House of Commons Library, which Nicola Sturgeon's party pointed to, said the UK had the lowest growth in GDP per capita of any country in Northwest Europe between 2009 and 2021. The study, using IMF data, showed the UK economy grew just 5.8%, plus £1,709, compared to other European neighbours such as France which grew by 7.1%, plus £2,221. Alison Fulis MP, the SNP's Shadow Chancellor at Westminster, said, It is essential that Scotland becomes an independent country, with the full powers and levers needed to secure a strong, fair and equal recovery from COVID, a decade of damaging Tory austerity cuts, the self-sabotage of Brexit, and weak economic growth has shown that Westminster cannot be trusted to deliver the strong recovery we need. Under Westminster control, the UK has lagged behind since the 2008 financial crash with the weakest recovery of any country in Northwest Europe and the lowest wealth per head. The evidence shows that independent countries of Scotland's size or smaller do better, and with the full powers of independence Scotland would be able to boost our economy and secure a stronger recovery, instead of being held back by damaging decisions made at Westminster.